Hey there guys, in today's video, we're gonna do a beginner's guide to Bamboo Labs Slicer. I repeat, we're gonna get into the slicer from Bamboo Labs known as Bamboo Studio. All right guys, so the first step to using Bamboo Studio, which is Bamboo, La Bamboo Labs Slicer, is to download the app. And this is what it should look like on your computer right here. All you do is click in, set up your printer. It's gonna walk you through connecting your printer to the Wi-Fi and it works really slick because once you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can send prints in between your printer and this software or the app really easily. So once you open Bamboo Studio, this is what it looks like. And what you can do here is you can either start a new project from RAW, if you click on new project right here, or you can open an existing project. Chances are, I'm guessing you're pretty new to this and you're, you're uh, looking for things to print, you don't have other projects. And also, if you wanna go on their marketplace, uh, Bamboo Studios, all you have to do is click on this over here in the right hand corner, it says more. This is kind of like their, their marketplace for finding prints. It's also known as MakerWorld.com. What's really cool about MakerWorld is I have found that these prints are designed for bamboo printers specifically. So like they're going to print very well, high quality stuff, and it's um, it works great. So what you can do is start by searching for something here. Let's just search for uh, Pokemon. We've been printing a lot of those. My daughter absolutely loves them. Let's do uh, Pikachu. And what you have to do here is click through the prints and find the one you want here. And all you have to do here is what you can do, once you choose it here, you can choose single color. Uh, you know, if you have a single color printer, this is obviously what you wanna go with. But if you have like a uh, uh, an AMS, then you can choose the other stuff here. It says multicolor AMS. Um, let's just do a single color because I feel like that'll be a little easier. Um, and then just click here, download or print. Um, you can click to open it in the Bamboo Studio directly so it will just automatically load or you can download the STL file. I tend to just open it right in that Bamboo Studio because it's really easy. Just import into Studio, open Bamboo Studio. There's a bunch of notifications or alerts to, to walk you through this. And then it's gonna automatically load in ba into Bamboo Studio. You may find that Bamboo Studio kind of like will lag down your computer a little bit depending on the quality of your computer, right? So this is gonna take a minute here and it's automatically generating the file, pulling the STL file into here. And if you're not aware yet, STL files are kind of like the main file type that you use with Bamboo stuff. So this is the Pikachu right here and all you have to do is you can scroll with your mouse to get in closer, then scroll down. You can also use the up and down keys. Um, you can click left click and then drag and get a three dimensional view of it, which is pretty cool. So uh, what I first usually start with, like say if I'm gonna print the Pikachu here, uh, you usually start over here on the left hand tab. So first start by making sure you have the correct printer. I have a P1S connected here. And the plate type, make sure you have your plate. I have a textured uh, PEI plate, which came with the P1S. And then you wanna choose your filament. If you have just generic PLA, if you have matte, um, silk, you can choose that. Uh, general PLA, usually you just wanna get like the type of filament. Uh, you don't have to get like super technical with it. And then um, what's cool about bamboo is you just kinda like just go for it, you know what I mean? So the one thing you have to worry about though is what is known as supports. So some of these prints are gonna need supports. And what supports are, if you go to this tab right here, it says supports, it's the fourth one over. And if we click this box here, there's two different supports. So there's the normal and then there's the tree support. I advise that you do the auto feature and let the, the slicer here, Bamboo Studio, kind of like do its thing. Because if you're gonna manually do it, if you're new to this, that's not what you wanna be doing. Uh, so just click on normal and I'll show you the differences here. Um, so this prepare tab is everything you wanna, this is all of the editing side. So if you're editing, this is what you wanna be on, but this next tab known as the preview tab, this is where the, the, the slicer kind of gets everything ready to be sent to the printer. So then I'm doing this to show you the next stage because it's gonna show us the supports. See how it built in these supports? And essentially what a support is, it's just like a, it, it's what, it, what you think it is. It's just a support to hold up like areas within the print. So this is what the, the normal support looks like. It's kind of more of a blocky substance and it just prints it. So if I wanna change the support, I gotta go back to the prepare tab because I'm editing, right? Then let's click on the tree support and then preview again. And I'm just doing this to show you the example of like the differences. You're gonna have to play around with this. Um, and again, on this preview tab, it's really cool because it shows you like all these features, you know, like the infill, the bridging, the surfaces stuff. If you're a beginner, this is all gonna be like super foreign. 
What I tend to look at is the estimation of total time. So this print's gonna be 50 minutes and 42 seconds. Okay, so the this is what this support looks like. This style is known as a tree support. And this is what it looks like. But if you remember, if we go back to the to the maker world here of the general print, it says no support. And a lot of times what I tend to do is look in the comment section of your print and see if people are using uh, supports. Because a lot, a lot of time people will be like, hey, this needs supports, this type of supports. And it's kind of important to know because uh, you'll mess up a couple prints and then you'll start paying attention. That's at least what happened to me. Uh, but so yeah, we don't need support. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the prepare tab and we are going to do no support. So I'm gonna uncheck this box. <clears throat> and generally, this is all I worry about, the supports. Um, you have selecting your printer, the type of filament, and then the supports, and that's essentially it. Um, what you also might wanna edit is the sizing. So um, all you have to do is click on your print in the middle here, you can tell that it's highlighted. And then you choose this button up here where it says scaling, and you choose this. And what you wanna do here is you wanna scale it appropriately. So I tend to, when I change the scaling, I, I do this uh, percentage one because that way you, it keeps it proportional and you want that. So let's increase the size by 200% and you can tell our Pikachu is now increased. And if you wanna know the exact sizing, it'll actually tell you the millimeters. So you could do like a conversion, uh, make sure you have this uniform scale checked or else it's gonna get all, you want that scaling to stay, you know what I mean? So yeah, this seems to be about, um, Everything I need to know about like this print, maybe I want to move it. That's not a huge deal where you move it, but maybe if you wanted to like load multiple prints on one plate here, then maybe you are going to like uh, put them in a certain spot so that they're not close to each other. And yeah, let's just add another print just for, uh, we'll add a Pikachu, how about that? Then click okay, import geometry only. I'm just showing you this just so you can see that you can also load multiple prints if you wanted to. Say if you wanted to load it up before you go to sleep and print a bunch of them, that's what we tend to do. And yeah, so now I'll just move them like that. Then click on the preview tab because this preview tab kind of like is, the, the slicer is doing its thing. It's configuring, you can see down here it's generating walls. It's, it's figuring out all the infill regions, the infill tool path, as you can see here. And it may take a minute, depending on like how in-depth your print is. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a like a little tutorial for beginners on how to use Bamboo Lab Slicer, known as Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions. Um, but yeah, the next step, uh, as you can see here, it is done generating everything, and it tells us how long this takes here on this screen. Two hours and 34 minutes. And depending on what printer you have with bamboo it will depend on how fast it is. And then, yeah, this is pretty much it. What we're going to do now is click up here in the right-hand corner where it says print plate. And then you just want to make sure you have your printer chosen and bed leveling, time lapse. If you want the time lapse, you can uh, click send. We're going to send this to the printer. You'll probably hear my printer turn on, so please bear with us. This is going to take a minute here to send to the printer, depending on like how in-depth your print is again. This is the next screen. You'll notice that Bamboo, the studio here, is it, it's moving through the tabs here. We have prepare, preview, and now we're on device. And then this is the actual, the stage of the device, which is the printer, and it's downloading it. You can see here, it's downloading it to the printer. And when you, when you set up Bamboo Studio and connected your printer through uh, the Wi-Fi, this is how it's gonna be sending everything here. What's cool here is we can, we can get into the micro SD card here as well to see what's on there. And in this tab, you can see all my time lapses. Um, I've been printing a lot of cool, cool stuff. So make sure to subscribe, guys, if you also like 3D printing. Woo -woo. And then there'll be uh, some models that are also on your SD card. A lot of times your printer comes with some. So the printer is getting started. You're probably going to hear it. What's cool here is you can also click this play button right here and get a live feed of what your printer looks like. Um, which is pretty cool if you have the P1S and above. I really like this. And uh, what's also cool is you can download the app, Bamboo Studio, and you can get a live update from the camera on your phone. So guys, hopefully this video helped you learn how to use the Bamboo Lab Slicer known as Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments and make sure to subscribe here. we got lots of awesome things coming. I will see you in the next one. All right, peace.